Hi, I'm Luana Rubin and I'm at the 2012 Birmingham Festival of Quilts. eQuilter was the sponsor of the pictorial category and I'd like to show you some of the beautiful quilts in this exhibit. This beautiful geisha themed quilt is the third prize in the pictorial category and I'd like you to take a close look at some of the combination of techniques that were used very creatively here. There is some drawing and shading, uh, presumably with ink or with some kind of pencil, but you also see that there's embroidery and a combination of Asian prints and batiks. And uh, what I'm really enjoying about this quilt is there are no rules here. Uh, sometimes people will say, oh, you can't combine batiks and hand dyes in the same piece. You can't put embroidery and drawing in the same piece. Hey, she did it, and it's fabulous. One of the things I really enjoy about coming to the show is seeing all of the United Kingdom themed quilts, uh, British, Irish, Celtic, Scottish, and here's one that's uh, very simple but very effective with this beautiful Celtic lettering and an image, a very evocative image of a windswept coastline. Take a look at the design and color details of this piece, which has a Jacobian feeling, and I also get a Celtic feeling from it as well. Back in Colorado, I have a friend named Denise Labadee who does these type quilts with stones made from hand dyes. And this quilt shows a traditional old stone structure. This quilt was second place in the pictorial category. It has a lovely abstract feeling and the color play really makes the little berries pop, don't you think? Here's a very interesting quilt with a French theme, the postcard from Chartres Cathedral. And what I really enjoy about this is how very creatively buttons and embroidery and couching have been used to create the cathedral window and also the uh, labyrinth up in the corner here and the stitched postcard image in black and white of the cathedral looking through the village and the trees. Very creative and I'm really looking at the show for all of these three-dimensional sculptural type details such as the angel up here. Take a close look at the folds of the angel's gown. Here's another French theme quilt, a French garden, and notice how the artist has used perspective and also three-dimensional sculptural detail to create the sense of depth. Make a note of the little red yo-yo uh, pop of color in the middle of the quilt and there are little tiny yo-yos in the bottom as well. It is very successful in depicting a formal French garden. Here's the first prize winner of the pictorial category and you can see that this artist has a great use of value, a great contrast of dark and light of course, and there's a real sense of movement in the piece. You can really almost hear the music and the rhythm of the women dancing together. Here's a very modern quilt and it really echoes what I've seen in the textile industry, this kind of image of dandelions and a very uh, flat background, but I love the stitching detail on this as well. This piece also has a very modern aesthetic with very clean color lines and very peaceful flowing shapes. Here's a whimsical piece called Me and Ed on the Beach in 2010. And what I really enjoy about this piece is really the whimsical, very amusing mixture of techniques that are used. You can see that there's a kind of a traditional patchwork in the middle. I almost imagine if she cut up a previous quilt and then decided to stick it into this quilt and some layered snowflakes and buttons, uh, glitter and stitching, and then along the bottom you can see the footprints on the beach that she refers to in her title. That's a lot of fun, isn't it? Here's a quilt that really catches your eye as you walk by. The artist has very successfully depicted the feathers, the black and white striped feathers on the top of the cock's head, and notice the three-dimensional eye that really sticks out and grabs your attention. This piece depicts images of exhibitions and here we are at the Festival of Quilt in the NEC Exhibition Hall. It has a real mid-century modern feel to it and it's accomplished with computerized machine embroidery and if you get in real close and look at the details uh, it's very interesting because normally when you see this kind of embroidery it's a more flowery subject, right? But this is a very industrial subject. Here's a quilt with some castles. This one's called Camelot Country and I think what I really appreciate about this is the real graphic quality of the flowers and the trees and the castles. 
This beautiful little piece depicts a harbor in Wales. And so as you can see, we're having a trip all around the United Kingdom and Europe. And what I'm really appreciating about this is the sculptural frame. So it almost looks like a carved wooden frame. And of course, the primary colors and the details, the stitching details in the boat and the houses here is just wonderful. This interesting quilt shows images from the London Foundling Hospital. Take a close look at some of the photos and the stitch details that are combined in here. We've been all around Europe and now we're in the southwest with cactus and a bright sun in this beautiful combination of traditional and contemporary quilt work. This piece is Flight of the Swallows and it's actually painted on canvas with its rich thick layers of paint and swirling images and lack of stitching. You might think that it's not a quilt, but here it is and it's very unique. This figurative quilt is called Mequereros and it depicts the marketplace in Central America and I'm sure you've seen these embroidered flowers on uh, blouses that come from Central America and here we have a lovely image depicting that scene. This piece has a very modern feel. Unfortunately, it would probably show better if it was on a white background, but I love the stencil details and the pure design aesthetic of this piece. This quilt is just plain fun and it's so great to see all these little appliques using prints and yarn dyes little whimsical animals and even batiks are used so again it's breaking those rules and using a whole different mix of fabrics and who cares what the quilt police say <laughs> this piece just makes you smile don't you think when you look at it you just feel like you're at the beach and you can hear the seagulls crying one of the things we Americans love when we come to Europe is looking at all the beautiful old doors with all the architectural details this piece really captures that, but in addition, take a look at the beaded connections and also the keys hanging from the bottom. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the Pictorial Quilts Exhibition at the Festival of Quilts in Birmingham. See you next time.